that's not a crash while doing it. And as you can see here, there is absolutely no lag. Hi everybody on the YouTube, SuperSider here, and we're doing something different today. Um, if you're having an Xbox, and and you're also having a PC, of course, otherwise this wouldn't work, and you don't have enough money to buy something like this, which is an Elgato uh, Game Capture HD. But Slider, you have one, why don't you use it? Well, um, this, this Elgato right here uh, works on USB 2. And USB 2 does not have the capacity to send uncompressed data to the computer, which means you will have some kind of delay uh, between actually, you know, th the console and the PC receiving the image from the console and, and such, because it needs to be compressed first. Well, up. Anyway, to avoid all that, we have the uh, the Xbox app right here, and this is all in Dutch. Don't worry, I grew up with it. It's it's you know it's 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 in my veins, I guess. Anyway, if you have an Xbox, you can actually click on this button right here, and you know you can stream from your uh, Xbox directly into your computer. I do have to put a couple of nodes uh, with this though. You can only do this when you actually have a wired connection. Or that I mean like a LAN connection. So that means that your desktop computer or your laptop and your Xbox needs to be hooked up uh, through a wired connection to be able to avoid having lag and, and network quality problems and, and, and such. Um, also a thing that I found out that if you install Windows, uh, Windows... Uh, like always tries to install like a, a generic kind of uh, LAN driver uh, to your uh, to your LAN adapter pretty much um, and for Intel it doesn't really work uh, that driver that, that Microsoft made it's not good enough um, if you use that driver you will see a lot of problems a lot of lag a lot of stuttering uh, drop frames etc 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 so what I found out is that Intel has actually made a, a driver that is capable of uh, like eliminating all the lag. Uh, so I don't know whether you have an Intel adapter or not. So um, if you have, you can do this. If you do not have an Intel adapter, um, I can't really help you because I don't have any, ad any other adapters uh, available to me. Anyway. If you're not sure what kind of adapter you have, you can actually go to this star button right here. You can right click that. You can go to device manager. It's called Apparat here right here, but it's called device manager. You can open that. You can go to network adapters and there you will see the Intel A2579V. That's the adapter that I have right now. Uh, Windows does know this, so that's not a problem. You can find this out. And if you uh, have this information then you can actually go to Chrome you can go to downloadcenter.intel.com I'll put the link in the description down below you can click on it that's fine um, you can put in the name that you just saw but you can also let it uh, search automatically for uh, drivers um, you can download run you can install it takes a couple of seconds uh, you can launch and then scan your entire computer uh, for some drivers Unfortunately, it did not find my uh, LAN adapter, um, which I think is very strange because it's an Intel LAN adapter, but apparently this application does not find it. So what you need to do is you need to uh, look at the name of your LAN adapter, which is, like I said, the A2579. Uh, so what you're going to do is type in A25. 7, 9, V, and then, like, immediately the uh, LAN adapter pops up. So what you, what you can do then is go to here. Uh, the only thing you have to do is make sure you uh, select your operating system. I've got 46-bit Windows 10. Uh, and then 
you can look at the latest version of the driver you can click on here and you can get you can go to here and then you know download the 32-bit the or the 64-bit version uh, whichever you need uh, and if you after you have installed uh, this I can also show you that you can go to your network center click on Ethernet uh, properties configure then it opens a new screen you can go to link speed and you have to see this so it says Intel ProSet version 21 um, you can see the speed uh, full duplex etc 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 if it shows this it's good you're good to go uh, this uh, and that should also eliminate all the lag um, and I will show you that right now we'll go into the stream we'll actually connect uh, to the Xbox I have my controller hooked up to the computer so it should just work fine uh, there we go you can also hear the sound I mean that's like the, that's like the biggest thing that I really like about this and next to the fact that you can actually uh, hear the sound from your Xbox through this app you can also use your own microphone like this one in the uh, Xbox Live chat uh, when you're in game. Um, so it also limits the fact that you have to like hook up a microphone to your controller here uh, and use it that way. So um, that is very, very nice. And of course, you know, you're able to, you know, record the screen as you can see here. I'm still right in the Xbox app on uh, my Windows 10. Uh, computer here. I'm gonna boot up a game, Forza Horizon 3, uh, the demo, because the game is not out yet. I mean, that's that's why. So here we are. I'm actually in a car right now. Let's put the pedal to the metal. That's not crash. While doing it. And as you can see here, there is absolutely no lag. And I'm talking about the stream, of course. The graphics of this game are also quite nice as well. Alright, here we go. That's it. I can also turn on the uh, stats here for a quick second. There we go. So you guys can see that as well. You can see that I'm actually in the app right now. I left that thing with you for a break overhaul. Oh, good night, Kira. Would you say something about breaks? We're taking the great ocean. And that I'm also looking at the app. Don't do anything stupid. Or the stream, whatever you want to call it. You know, and it looks fine. This is the highest uh, quality option as well. I think it's like 1080p, 60fps. Although this game, of course, doesn't run at 1080p. It runs at 900p. But, you know, details, details, whatever. It's all about the stream. You know, you can see the streaming functionality is actually uh, running without lag at all. That's a very, that's very nice. And to finish it off, I also do this race as well. But I don't know. We'll see in a minute if we can actually save our progress or not. I'll look at that. I never use a controller to drive a car. I mean, the graphics are amazing, though. It's 
So there's actually no way to lose this race, I believe. If I'm correct. Which is nice. Okay, Warren. Pilot free. Call it when you're ready to drop. Alright. There you go. Righto, there's the finish line. Can't Let's finish this one off. So take him. There we go. Done. So anyway, as you uh, as you can see, still running the uh, Xbox streaming app. This is your boy Scott Tyler, and I'm pretty much recording my uh, computer screen in, in 1080p. And you know, it's not struggling at all, no lag, it runs fine, quality is great. It's a nice experience. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Well, there we go. Anyway, that is what, what I wanted to show. If you guys have any uh, questions regarding this, uh, you know, streaming stuff that I'm doing here, of. Uh, or maybe you're experiencing some problems. Maybe I can help you. Uh, let me know what your problem is. You know, you can leave a comment down below. Um, if you like the video, then please uh, click the like button. Also, subscribe for more videos. Uh, because I wanted to test this because I want to play Final Fantasy when it comes out in a couple of months. Um, so, I just wanted to see how this uh, works. And it, you know, it works fine, actually. So, I'm very glad that it works fine. Um, so anyway, see you guys later. Peace out.